Hey everybody, welcome back. So I just saw some amazing news on social media. Apparently, Ryan Buell from the Paranormal Research Society, or you may know him best from, from the Paranormal Show, Paranormal State. My name is Ryan, and I'm a paranormal investigator. Now, Ryan is the director of PRS, and over the years there have been a lot of rumors and stuff that have even been confirmed, not necessarily on PRS, but on other paranormal shows, about stuff being faked and networks forcing them to faking evidence and such. But this actually has to do with Ryan Buell stealing. Like he was arrested for theft. Now, it's pretty much unclear as to what all of the charges are. He has been known to set up events and venues and then cancel them and not refund the money or not show up uh, and not issue refunds. Apparently this time he leased a car or rented a car and then never returned it. Like do you really think that you're not gonna get caught? Do you really think that you're not gonna get arrested for stealing a car? Now I don't know what his reasons are Obviously, he has some sort of problem. There's also rumors that he lied about having pancreatic cancer. And if that's true, you, sir, are a bastard. But I really do hope that you did not lie about having cancer. A lot of people die from cancer. Lying about something like that, it's not a laughing matter. Cancer is not something that you should take lightly. I lost my mother to cancer. I lost my aunt to cancer. Lots of people have lost people that they love and care about. And for you to lie about that, to make money, is a bunch of bullshit. Now, that it, now it hasn't been confirmed that he lied about that yet. I'm just saying he better not have lied about that. Now, of course, I checked out the rest of his team's Facebooks and Twitters to try to confirm some of this stuff. And yes, it has been confirmed that he stole a car. I went to Chip Coffee's Twitter. Chip Coffee is a psychic medium who worked on Paranormal State for almost the entire series. He left the show because, and he stated this, this has been confirmed. He left the show because he was having problems with Ryan. And he's not the only one. Other people left the show before it got canceled. Heather from the show left. Katrina, who is now on Paranormal Lockdown with Aaron from Ghost Adventures. By the way, great job on the show, guys. Keep up the great work. Don't let what happened mess with your careers. There have been people that worked on set that said that stuff was never fake. Uh, there was a guy that was there during the Mothman uh, filming, the Mothman episode, and he said that nothing was fake. They weren't prepping or doing anything like that. But again, going back to Chip Coffee's Twitter, like he, I looked at Chip's uh, Twitter account and multiple people are messaging him about it, which I understand. I went there to see uh, what was going on or if, uh, trying to confirm what had or had not happened. And there are some people attacking Chip, saying that he was a part of uh, the venues and uh, getting canceled and pocketing the money and, and faking evidence on the show and all, all sorts of stuff. Like people were giving him crap for that. He, he didn't do anything. Other people from the show, some have yet to comment on it. For anyone that was on Paranormal State, I feel so bad for you guys because you guys right now, the Paranormal Research Society, which I don't even think the Paranormal Research Society even exists anymore, but the people were, that were in it are pretty much being attacked right now. A lot of people question their credibility. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened where a team's credibility goes into question. Back in the day, there was a woman that was a part of TAPS on Ghost Hunters who left the show, and I guess she left on bad terms, and she took to the media and said that they were sending in prep crews and they were faking evidence and, and all kinds of stuff. Even if it hasn't been proven, which is messed up, even if it hasn't been proven that you were faking stuff, it's still, it, like even being accused of it can hurt your, your street credit, your credibility in the paranormal field. Obviously, there's a lot of controversy between the people 
They used to work together on the set of Paranormal State. I don't claim to know everything that happened. I don't know the whole story about what happened with Ryan. There's always stuff that they don't tell you on social media. I don't know exactly what happened between him and Chip. I really don't. But Ryan is one guy. I get he was the lead investigator of their team. The leader should embody what the whole team is. Ryan's own mother even posted about this saying, do not give her son money. Don't buy tickets to any venues for him. See if I can pull this up real quick. Part of her, part of her long story, and it even says that someone from PRS keeps deleting her comment or message. Don't buy tickets to events that may never occur. She even put, you the PRS crew keeps deleting this post. This is how much they truly care about Ryan. All about the money to them. Please read and pass along to everyone in the paranormal community. Now the thing is, who is in the PRS group? People have left the PRS group. I don't consider Chip Coffey to be in the Paranormal Research Society. Actually, I never thought of him as part of it. Like he was always like his separate entity. Like they would, cons like he would consult them. Katrina used to be a part of the Paranormal Research Society. She's not a part of it anymore. She does her own show. Heather left the show. The only people that I think are in the Paranormal Research Society is Ryan Buell and Sergi. I have no idea who else is who would be considered. I don't even think that there is even a Paranormal Research Society anymore. I mean, they definitely don't do paranormal research, so what's the point? People are asking, and they're asking Chip Coffey that Ryan is possessed by a demon, or there's a demon attached to him, and that's why all this bad stuff is happening to him. Chip even said, no, he is not possessed. It is just about Ryan and the bad decisions that he's made. Meaning there is nothing supernatural or paranormal about what has happened to Ryan. Everything that has happened to Ryan, he did to himself. So to the people that left the Paranormal Research Society or who may still be a part of it and have nothing to do with what happened to Ryan, or was ever involved in any of the things that he was doing that was getting him into trouble. I feel really sorry for you guys because right now I pretty much see that you guys are under attack. And it's really something that you shouldn't have to deal with. Just like paranormal investigators, we have to go on the facts and what we know. We can't really go by hearsay. It might bother us. Some stuff is bothering me. I don't know if it's true or not. All I can do is hope that it's not true. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.